Mining Kent's ironclad rule, we would go from cover to original seamlessly. To, because I, and I still teach that to uh, people that I talk to now about this kind of thing. I spoke to a guy in Nashville just the other day, and I said, if you, if you want your, you, you, what you want is if you cover something, you want to cover a song the same way you would cover your own original. Make them to where they, you own it. You, play, you write your original song, you play it the way you want to play it, you put your style to it, mm. and when you cover another artist, approach it the same way and make that song your own so that people, of course they know it was written by the Rolling Stones, but the thread, the feel, is the same kind of feel that you give your mm-hmm. own flavor to your own original, so therefore you're stamping, you're, origina- yeah. you're owning that cover yeah. just like you own your original material. I remember sitting in a... In Gary Smalley's uh, living room with the, uh, you and Gary, and well, and you were talking that same thing, you know. It's where somebody would say, "Well, you did a Stone song, for yeah. instance, but it didn't sound like them, and it was no, it's got to sound like you." Yeah, it's if their I, song. If, if I gave Mick and Keith one of my songs, I guarantee you they would do what they wanted. <laughs> if they chose to record it, they would do what they wanted to. They wouldn't say, "What do you think we should?"